I'm very glad that uh, I can be here again. Uh, this is my third time to join this tea conference. It is my uh, great pleasure uh, to uh, talk about the recent situation uh, on the modern social activity in Japan. I'd like to say also thank you again uh, that uh, uh, all of you uh, always think about the uh, Japanese a very hard situation uh, caused by the huge earthquake. Not only the earthquake, but also the uh, tsunami, which are, we get uh, last year uh, during the March. Uh, Japan is now uh, getting uh, back to the uh, previous position. Of course, there are still several uh, problems, but uh, we are uh, we, uh, having a hope uh, in order to look for the future. But uh, when, we talk, when I talk about the nuclear power, the situation is drastic, uh, drastically changed before Fukushima and after Fukushima. Of course, the safety is a very, very important issue. And uh, we, uh, we are now having uh, uh, the 50 uh, available nuclear power plants, but all of them are under shutdown. And uh, there are discussions uh, to restart uh, some of the, uh, how to say the, uh, confirmed uh, reactors for, in the view of the safety uh, will be restarted, but the, it is not yet decided. Maybe within a week or two weeks, uh, it will be decided by the uh, Japanese government. In addition to that, there are other discussions that the people are seeking, is there any other types of nuclear power plants which having a much a safer characteristics? We do not uh, think about this point, but the, as far as we use a nuclear power for the uh, electricity generation, the, uh, the problem or the subject is a spent nuclear fuel. And uh, if we use a uranium fuel, uh, we uh, become to have, the, of course, the uh, radioactive waste, including the plutonium. For the case of the, uh, using the, the sodium, the production amount of the, amount of the plutonium becomes uh, uh, of course, uh, smaller than, than uh, uranium fuel, but uh, anyway, we have uh, fission product and so on. So the, what we have to think about uh, to, uh, to, take, uh, to take care of the spent nuclear fuel is the incineration of the, uh, these uh, radioactive materials. And also, if we, use, uh, if we continue to use the nuclear power, we will be able to reduce production amount of the uh, radioactive waste. So the, in this context, the sodium molten salt reactor becomes to be discussed in Japan. These are the books which I wrote in Japan. I'm sorry, only in Japanese, so I wish uh, that the, uh, you can read Japanese. <laughs> I wrote the book, this book before Fukushima, and uh, at that time, not many people pay attention on the sodium nuclear power. But after Fukushima, these are not my book, but these are the very famous uh, uh, economic journals, magazines, which is uh, very uh, well known by the businessmen. And, uh, but the, the direction of each journal is very different. The upper part uh, is uh, named the Toyo Keizai, but uh, this uh, journal focused on the anti-nuclear, but they featured me. And they uh, explain what is a sodium molten salt reactor and what is the difference from the existing, uh, to say, the right water reactors. But the uh, lower ones are also completely different. They wanted to prom promote the nuclear power, but they also uh, feature a sodium molten salt reactor. And after uh, the, these journals are published, I also wrote a, a, uh, another book, and this uh, book was uh, published on just one year after the Fukushima accident. And I also featured in the TV program and the radio program in Japan. And uh, Japan is, uh, how to say, the, uh, the western part and the eastern part. Uh, the one of the most uh, famous city in uh, western part is Osaka, and uh, that is my hometown. And this, <clears throat> the left-hand side is a TV program which is uh, popular in Osaka city. And uh, to tell the truth, this, uh, um, uh, tamer of the uh, TV show is uh, renewable energies, or I should say uh, anti-nuclear. But I was also in, uh, featured, uh, featured in this show, and uh, I am the only man uh, who talk about the nuclear power. 
And the right hand side is a radio show uh, which is uh, uh, broadcasting to uh, Tokyo areas. And uh, this man is named uh, Kaoru Takeuchi. He is uh, one of the famous um, science columnists. And he also off, uh, have a, uh, a comment on the NHK. This is a Japan broadcasting uh, companies. And he uh, wrote some uh, brief um, uh, recommendation of my book uh, in uh, also the uh, famous Japanese newspaper, which name is uh, Nikkei. And I also uh, featured other TV program. But the background of this uh, TV program is, program is a little bit sad. Uh, just one day before I was uh, uh, invited to this TV show, uh, there was a suicide in Japan. Um, I cannot uh, uh, talk in detail about this suicide, but the man, uh, when he retired in the, uh, March from the Shizu um, Niigata Prefecture, uh, there was a small amount of sodium in his bag. And after he retired uh, from the uh, Niigata Prefecture, he found that in his, uh, in his house there is a sodium. And, uh, uh, last year, there was a, a how to say, um, several discussion about the sodium. And the people, some people say that, oh, sodium is very good. But there are other people, oh, sodium is very dangerous because this is a radioactive materials. And of course, uh, um, ordinary people do not know what is the sodium. So the, uh, this man thought that, oh, I'm doing very bad thing. How, how can I do? And he suicide. But with his wife, I was very sad. So the, um, when I was invited to this TV show, I carefully explained to the people, sodium is, of course, this is a radioactive materials. If we, take, um, if we, we do not take care of handling the, this material, it will be able to cause uh, some um, health, um, how to say, damage. But, if we understand what is sodium, we don't uh, have to, uh, anyway, we don't have to suicide. And also inform that the um, sodium will be uh, available for the uh, nuclear fuel, and uh, which we, uh, it will be uh, provided not only in Japan, but also in the world, to, how to say, the invited lectures, which was held in this March, just uh, three months ago. And the left-hand side was a, a lecture uh, held by Kyogo Prefecture. This is a, one of the public one. And the right-hand side is a lecture uh, which was organized by the uh, Shizuoka Prefecture. Shizuoka Prefecture is a very important prefecture in Japan because um, uh, within this prefecture, there is a, a nuclear power plant, which name is the Hamaoka. This is, a, this is a, owned by uh, tube electric power companies. And uh, the reason why this prefecture or the Hamaoka nuclear power plant is important is that the, uh, this area is the heart of the next huge earthquake. Talking here is uh, Mr. Kawakatsu, the, uh, the governor of Shizuoka prefecture. And uh, after the, uh, the Fukushima uh, accident, he becomes to think about how they can take care of the Hamaoka nuclear power plant. And he uh, becomes, uh, becomes to know about the sodium molten salt reactor, and he studied about the, its uh, safety issues, and also he becomes to know that the uh, sodium molten salt reactor is available to incinerate the uh, existing uh, spent nuclear fuel. And then he be, uh, decided to invite uh, invited me uh, to, take, uh, to make uh, some lecture about the sodium molten salt reactors. Um, local govern, uh, government uh, congress of the Kyoto city. Kyoto city is uh, uh, where I'm living now and where I'm working. And uh, the Kyoto city has a uh, university which name is uh, Kyoto University. This is, this is a, how to say, the home ground of Japanese activity to make research of sodium and molten salt reactors. This is a man uh, whose uh, who name is uh, uh, Mr. Akio uh, Kobayashi. 
he uh, brought a uh, question to the local government. How do, we, do you think about the sol uh, sodium molten salt reactors for providing uh, local electricity within uh, Kyoto city? Uh, the mayor of Kyoto, whose name is uh, Mr. Kadokawa, he answered that, the, of course, we understand uh, the sodium molten salt reactor is available, but it is under uh, still uh, R&D phase. So um, the Kyoto city cannot say uh, or uh, cannot make any commitment, for example, to uh, promote the uh, research and the development, but they carefully uh, watch the progress of the uh, R&D of sodium molten salt reactors. The government, Japanese government, uh, did not uh, lot of or large uh, attention to the sodium molten salt reactor, but just before I come to this meeting, on 18th May, so just uh, two weeks ago, one of the senators phoned me, and he said that he wants uh, want to have some lecture about the sodium molten salt reactor. But the, uh, their purpose is whether the sodium molten salt reactor is uh, useful for incinerating the spent nuclear fuel. And uh, the date is not yet fixed, but the, maybe when I go back to Japan, there will be some invitation, and the lecture will be held maybe the, within this June. What's the tube electric power company uh, taking care of the next earthquake and the tsunami at the Hamaoka nuclear power plant? If you look at this uh, picture, you will see a huge wall here. And this is me. I was invited to this uh, power plant uh, on, so just uh, two, two weeks ago. They are now constructing the very huge walls in order to uh, surround the, uh, the nuclear power plant. Of course, the purpose is to protect the attack of the tsunami. And they also prepared a lot of uh, uh, additional uh, power supply by the diesel engines. This is located within the reactor building. And they also prepared the smaller capacity of the diesel engine, but on the roof. So the height is uh, um, higher than the 30 meters from the uh, sea level. And they also, uh, they also prepared the uh, additional uh, protecting panel uh, around the um, sea pump. Can you see uh, these numbers? This is a 15 meter from sea level. And this is a 20 meter from sea level. There are other uh, heavy industry machines in order to open the ways when the earthquake uh, breaks and many things. And this is also the electricity generator, but this is a, a mobile or the transportable gas, uh, uh, gas turbine uh, generators. And what's surprising is this. This is a TV news. Okay. Did you see Hamaoka? Hamaoka is a Hamaoka nuclear power plant. This is a news which I saw yesterday. And what they say is that the, <coughs> the tube electric power company decided to uh, make a research center for the safety of the nuclear power plant. Just a pause. Would you please look at these four characters? These four characters pronounced are corresponding to this character. This is thorium, thorium, corresponded to here. It's very interesting that the purpose of this research center includes the use of the thorium as a future fuel, and they also target to develop uh, uh, advanced nuclear reactors, but it includes the molten salt reactors.
could you hear the sound of a thorium? If you uh, go back to your hotel and room, and if you um, browse the name of the Chubu Electric Power Company and the uh, research center, you will find uh, some English news from the Mainichi uh, newspapers. Okay, uh, this uh, slides are introducing the recent situation about the solid molten salt reactors in Japan. And uh, I'd like to briefly mention about uh, what I'm myself doing in Japan. What I'm do, uh, doing is to develop a, a transportable, very small molten salt reactors. And uh, uh, the capacity of the, um, I, I'm going to produce uh, electricity, but the uh, capacity will be around 10, uh, excuse me, one megawatt, one megawatt. And uh, my um, design will be available a little bit larger uh, capacity, but maybe up to 10 megawatts. And this is a summer uh, reactor and using a graphite moderator. And uh, it is pointed out that as far as we use a graphite as a moderator in a reactor core, uh, there may be a problem of the, of the uh, positive uh, summer coefficient, uh, reactivity uh, coefficient. But the, we are going to avoid this uh, problem by using the a small size reactor core and additional um, uh, mechanical treatments. And the, this reactor uh, does not uh, uh, achieve a large uh, conversion ratio. And this is not, this will not uh, be uh, breeder reactors. Because um, uh, I myself are carrying the other uh, research on the ADS. And uh, of course, uh, this is not yet um, uh, fixed but the, it may be available to provide the uh, fissile material, uranium-233, uh, externally uh, from the uh, outside of uh, these reactors. And uh, I'm sorry, um, the details is still, um, how to say, the, uh, development. And my colleagues in Japan have already uh, finished uh, to um, make a simulation of our uh, reactor core. And uh, he told me that, that it will be available uh, to get some uh, calculation result uh, this June. Uh, in order to develop uh, this kind of a transportable small reactor, I organized, uh, uh, how to say that, some uh, R&D team uh, with my colleagues. And uh, it was uh, established uh, two years ago from now. And uh, in the beginning of the, our project, we try to pick up the uh, research tamer in order to make a transportable uh, molten salt reactors. And the last year we could get a, a conceptual design of the transportable reactors. And from this year we are now uh, preparing the uh, calculation code and so on. And uh, this is just uh, my wish. Uh, maybe we would like to uh, fix the specification of the prototype reactors. If it is available, we would like to fabricate the uh, prototype reactor two years, uh, two years from now. And uh, if it is possible, we would like to provide a commercial reactor uh, from the 2020. But uh, only God knows what will happen. The most important point is that the thorium itself does not have the uh, fissionable isotope. Maybe uh, two years ago, I showed um, this kind of pictures. The left-hand side indicates the uranium fuel cycle because uranium, uh, uranium uh, including the uh, fissile uh, isotope 235, it is available to, um, you, to be used as a nuclear fuel uh, only by using the uh, natural uranium. But for the case of the uh, sodium fuel cycle, we do not have any uh, fissile uh, isotope from the natural resource, so we have to prepare by using the, a producer, uh, ADS, something like that, or other possibility is that the, uh, we can use the uh, plutonium coming from the spent nuclear fuel of the uh, uranium fuel cycle. We also have to evaluate, uh, you know, uh, quantitative evaluations. This is a, a preliminary calculation which uh, I did uh, two years ago. But uh, the, roughly, the tendency is, does not change. 
today and uh, yesterday. And uh, if the, uh, the capacity of the uranium fuel cycle increase like this until the 2050, maybe the uranium fuel cycle uh, becomes uh, three times larger than uh, which we have today. But if we use the plutonium coming from the uranium fuel cycle, in this case, the, uh, the capacity of the sodium molten salt reactor will reach only 400 gigawatts and so on. And because of the, uh, the influence of the Fukushima uh, Daiichi nuclear power plant accident, if it, the capacity of the uranium fuel cycle does not increase, of course, the available capacity of the sodium fuel cycle will be greatly reduced. <clears throat> so the, what we have to think about is how we can get additional fissile material. But the question can be modified. How we can get neutrons? Uh, in the critical reactors, of course, uh, in uh, subcritical reactors, we use uh, neutrons coming from the uh, fission reactions. And uh, of course, the, the fusion uh, reaction will be available to get the uh, neutrons. And of course, the spiration is uh, very, very attractive. But also, the D beryllium, deuteron beryllium reaction will be available. But of course, people know that the uh, efficiency uh, of the uh, deuteron beryllium reaction is not so high compared to the exploration reaction. But the <clears throat> anyway, the key is accelerator uh, in my study. We would like to provide the reliable and the stable and efficient and of course the cheap uh, accelerators. OK, uh, this is uh, our proposal which name is a uh, uh, Mitri use accelerator. And if you look at the, uh, in front of this room, you will see uh, the two posters, and uh, much detail is uh, uh, described here. Neutron produ uh, providers. And what's interesting is that the, uh, you will see there are many tubes. Each of them are independent accelerator tubes. And this provides the flat neutrons at the end of the uh, each, how say the uh, accelerator tube. And the other additional good point is that the neutron generation rate can be controlled by each accelerator tube so that we can, how to say, control the spatial distribution of the neutron flux. This is a one figure of the, uh, our um, preliminary design of the uh, ADS by using the Mitri use accelerator. Here, uh, this is a pressurized uh, a PWR type uh, reactor core, and the, from the left hand side and the right hand side, neutron will be induced to the uh, PW core. Of course, we understand that there will be uh, several um, the challenging in order to uh, achieve this kind of design because uh, uh, the neutron is induced externally from outside of the reactor vessel, so that we have to evaluate the effect of the uh, neutron uh, radiation damage and so on. And we are now uh, constructing the factory at Fukushima, and uh, which will be uh, uh, completed uh, next year. And the first neutron will be available in 2014. And these are the uh, schematic design of the, uh, our new factories, this and this. This is an accommodation room, so if you want, you can come to our uh, factory. <laughs> and uh, this accelerator will be, or may be, available to put inside of the nuclear power plant. And uh, the purpose is to incinerate uh, the spent nuclear fuel. And uh, if we put the sodium fuel here, it generates the uranium-233, and it can be fed for the sodium molten salt reactors. So that we are uh, discussing uh, whether this is available for Japanese uh, electricity company, such as tube electric companies. But uh, of course, uh, uh, they will have uh, several problems. So maybe uh, it may be uh, not so easy. And uh, we have already uh, published the paper this April. So if you want, you can find or you can call me. And uh, that is all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah.
we, we got time to take uh, one or two questions. Yes, I would like you to comment on the fact of shutting all the reactors down in Japan. I think that would be a big problem. Hmm. Uh, well, your thoughts about shutting all the reactors down yeah, yeah. in Japan? Of course, uh, I wish uh, that the uh, available nuclear power plant, which is using the right water reactor, should be restarted. But uh, anyway, the uh, Japanese people do, how to say, do not want to continue to use the nuclear power plant, so the capacity of the right water reactor may be gradually reduced. But the, uh, if, we, if we can develop the solid molten salt reactor, but it may take uh, more than 10 years or 50 years, <laughs> uh, in the middle of the tw 2020, we may be able to provide the additional nuclear energy by using the solid molten salt reactor. I wish so. There's enough additional capacity that you don't need those reactors to shut it down. He's asking if there's enough power generation capacity in Japan, or what are you guys doing without so much? What we are doing is to uh, start our how to say the uh, supplemental fire plant. But the re uh, fuel is a uh, natural gas. And uh, I myself think that the, this is a very, very, how to say, dangerous. Because uh, uh, this supplemental uh, fire plant is, how to say, reserve, reservation. So the, the, they are not considered to be operated in a full time and all day in a year. And also the, the t price of the natural gas increases. And uh, so I don't think uh, it is a good decision. So we should rethink, maybe within this year and next year. In, that, in your last slides, you, you had pictures of designs for Fukushima. Um, the estimated time, when, when do you propose? Is that a demonstration plan number one? You mean the, uh, I, I'm sorry, I cannot show, but the, the last slide before conclusion. Yes, um, that is a uh, conceptual, how to say, the, uh, schematic diagram. And uh, uh, to tell the truth, we don't have the, any completed accelerator. And uh, uh, maybe it will be available two years from now. And before it is completed, we have to discuss with, uh, how to say, the uh, electric companies. And once we can get some agreement, it will be a demonstration plant. And the, as I introduced in my presentation, for the case of the Chubu uh, Electric Power Company, they um, established a research center. So this is a kind of a research. So I think the demonstration will be available. Very good. Let's thank Takeshi again for... Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.